So I'm David Brown. I am the director of the V Fabric Applied Technology Group and one of the original legacy architects from the Gemstone acquisition. And now we're going to talk about some of the customer use cases, uh, customers who have applied the Gemfire technology and achieved some dramatic results and some dramatic business transformation uh, in their applications. So in another uh, retail banking use case, um, this customer did a, um, a test where they would take some COBOL code that was running a nightly batch job, and this was a customer account reconciliation batch job, things that a lot of retail banks do. And the existing uh, batch job was running on mainframe systems, and it was taking two hours to complete. So the first thing they did was they did an analysis of that two hours to determine why was it taking two hours. And if you look at the slide here, it shows you that three quarters of that time was waiting for an available CPU. Well, everybody knows that mainframe CPUs were, are very expensive. So that means that the code spent most of its time waiting for an expensive resource. So one of the things that Gemfire can particularly do is help you to apply a problem like this, like a batch, pro, 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 uh, batch run, and apply it across a large quantity of inexpensive, modern, highly efficient CPUs. So this is what the customer did. They took their COBOL code, they ran it through a compiler that allowed them to run it on top of Linux, and they modified just the data access layer of the code, so the piece of the code that went out to get data. They changed it so that instead of going to, uh, I believe it was an ISAM file, they would talk to Gemfire, which is a fairly easy trans transition to make. And so now the COBOL code, or code was running on 25 Linux COT servers or common off the cell, cell servers, and um, that the batch job now ran in less than a minute. And of that minute, we analyzed the time that it was still spending 93% of its time waiting for network now. So we moved the bottleneck, but the major thing was we'd gone from a two-hour batch job to a one-hour batch job. So who cares running that we can now move this thing faster? Well, a lot of people care. A, we can save money on the mainframe. We, we can reduce the number of mainframes. We can run on cheaper, modern, more scalable hardware. Um, we can get away from the problem of, uh, what's it called? I think the green zone is what they're calling it, where um, as, you, as your batch jobs get more and more complex and as this amount of data that you have to process in a given night grows, the length of time it takes to calculate those batches increases and increases. And many, many um, companies are now at the point where those batch runs don't really have any space left, that they have to run, they have to run complete, and they have to run accurately. Otherwise, they're not going to run by the time the next trading day starts or the time the next business day starts. So the fact that we can run it that much faster means we can afford for something to go wrong. Now, Nothing goes wrong in the Gemfire software, of course, but things could go wrong. And if you they go wrong, you're going to know a minute later, and you can run it again after you fix the problem. Right? And now that we've got more time, we can now do just kind of like the previous case, we can now do new things that we couldn't do before. Add in new features, fraud detection, more regulatory compliance, upselling opportunities. We can add these things to our business that we didn't do before. And when you move from a long-running batch job to a short-running batch job, you are right on the line of being real-time processing. If the batch takes less than a few minutes or, or is very, very quick, you are now in a realm where you're doing things in real time and you can make real-time decisions based on the, on, on the results of those batch jobs.